Hey everyone, yes I do mean you, it's me, Silver Daddy. Are you ready for another exciting adventure, aka trip or trippin' with me? We're about to discover and share some amazing life stories. If I take a few sudden tangent turns along the way, don't worry, because I'll find our way back. Come on, climb aboard, and buckle up, because we are ready to start another great episode of Drippin' with Silver Daddy. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Trippin' with Silver Daddy. And I have to thank Sean and Ricky, because Sean and Ricky is the one who got me to this location. Actually, they're followers on my Instagram. You know, I have a personal Instagram page, which is Silver Daddy for you. But I was on there and I said, hey guys, let's play a game. And we started, they threw out some letters, some numbers and all that. And it all corresponded to things that led me to where I was going to do this week's show. Because I had no idea. And it led me to Hollywood. That's right. No, not Hollywood, California. Hollywood, Florida. Famous for a lot of things. I am here on the beach. Probably one of the coolest things about Hollywood is this long, what we call, boardwalk. It is stone path. It has a stone path and everything. But it is over two and a half miles long. So they do have their own boardwalk. But Hollywood is famous for a lot of things. Now, many of you may think Hollywood was named after Hollywood, California, but let's set the record straight. Back in 1925, John Young bought 16,000 acres of land in this area, and he wanted to make it into a very high-scale luxury of hotels along the beach. And at the time, Hollywood, California, was a very popular place. So yes, he did actually name it after Hollywood, California, but it was originally called Hollywood by the sea. Not really a sea, it's really an ocean. So he should have called it Hollywood by the ocean or Hollywood by the Atlantic Ocean would have even been a better description. But that is how this all came about, is a guy named John Young when he purchased all this land and he developed this into a city. I'm just amazed that Shane and Ricky randomly picked places that ended me here because this place actually has a very close place to my heart and things that I know about. Back in the 1980s, mid 1980s, when I was in college up in Dayton, Ohio, one of our closest friends, Jonica, actually lived in Hollywood, Florida. And her dad was a pharmacist somewhere on this beach. He had a pharmacy here. And we would always, at the end of the year, with Jonica, we would always drive her all the way from Ohio down here to Florida, spend a week with her parents or more, and we would hang out here on the beach. So this actually goes way back to when I was in college in the 80s. This was my first place that I went to the beach by myself without my parents. Also what's amazing, I had a roommate up in Dayton for like a, a part of a semester and he lived here in Hollywood, Florida. Tony played football for the local high school and was playing football for the University of Dayton, and we were housemates for a short time. I'll just say, Tony and academics didn't get along. So, we'll leave it at that. So yeah, I know a little bit about this. Hollywood, Florida is a really cool place. It's kind of what a lot of people will call the arts melting pot. A lot of artists live in this area have art shops and do a lot of different things with art here. They also have one of the largest Latino beach parties and beach festivals 
here in Hollywood. And it's kind of like a suburb between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. So there's a lot of really cool things to do here at the beach and on the boardwalk. But we're gonna go two miles inland because that's where they really picked the location. And we're gonna do some stuff from in there. Hey, I'm excited. We're gonna have a great time. Don't know who I'm gonna meet. Don't know what stories we're gonna tell, but we are gonna tell some stories. The only thing I can tell you is just hang in there. Please listen to our sponsors and I'll be right back because you are listening to Trippin' with Silver Daddy. I'll be back. Do you want to upgrade your home to maybe waterfront property or looking for investment property here in Broward or West Palm Beach counties and you want it to be hassle-free and stress-free and drama-free, then you need real estate agent Mark. He has years of customer service and knows this market. Let me tell you, the great thing about real estate agent Mark is he always answers his phone. He's never missing an action. This is why I recommend real estate agent Mark to my family, friends, and you, my followers. So it doesn't matter if you live in New York, LA, Dubai, Rome, London, or Rabbit Hash, Kentucky. If you're looking to buy real estate in South Florida, contact real estate agent Mark. You can contact him at Palm Beach Realtor for you.com hey everyone welcome back to tripping with silver daddy i'm with judith we met before haven't we we met what about three four months ago yeah in the yeah, summer yeah, yeah so just so everyone knows you were one of my first interviews for the show and i had so much fun <laughs> interviewing her it was a blast but I had like six interviews and the disc was corrupt. Uh, uh, and I lost everything. I get to see you again for that. So I came in just to see you because she is so much fun. <laughs> now, just a, oh, where are we? Oh, by the way, we are at Hollywood Hot, Hot, Hollywood Hot Glass, One Young Circle. Yes, and we're with one of the hottest people I know. Ooh. But I'm really hot right now, too. It's hot outside. <laughs> because when you blow glass, guess what? The temperatures are high. Absolutely. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Right? Or, who's this? This is my Logan. Hi there. He is my buddy. Oh, <laughs> everyone needs a small buddy like that. <laughs> You're not originally from Florida, right? No, I'm from New York. I think this is my third year here. Yeah, I'm, I'm in my third year. What part of New York? Like New York State, New, New York, York City, New York 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 City. Brooklyn, New York. She's a Brooklyn <laughs> babe, let me tell you. How long did you live? You lived in Brooklyn for a while. We don't have to say how long. I lived in Brooklyn for over 50 years. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. Yep, 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 yep. So your yep. family's from? My family's all from New York. All from New York? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I retired in 2016 and I said, let me come to someplace warm. I don't want any more New York winters except New York during Christmas time. It's beautiful. <laughs> she has to go back to home for the, you know, all the ice skating, the Rockefeller Center, Ooh. all that fun <laughs> stuff in New York. <laughs> Shopping. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, you want to do some great shopping, you need to come here. You can buy one of the kind gifts that no one else would have for Absolutely. holidays. Absolutely. No piece is identical. Everything is different and it's really fun. We have lots of groups that come in. We have couples, we have individuals, we have groups. In fact, when I first came, I was here by myself and I was looking for something to do. And I, I made something called a... Oh my gosh, here. I made a ruffle ball. Ruffle ball. And it was so much fun to make. You don't have to know anything at all. Well, it's a <laughs> ball, not a hat. <laughs> Let me put, I'm gonna, hold on everyone. I do not want her to drop. <laughs> So it's, it's just really, really I'm still fun. here. So let's talk. Well, how I know about this place is the owner, Brenna. Brenna Baker. Brenna was on one of the shows I love to watch. 
She was on a Netflix series called Blown Away. Yep. And Blown Away, if you haven't seen it, it is so cool. It's glass blowers. Mm -hmm. And I just have the most respect for glass blowers. <laughs> the things they can do, it's incredible. But she started this like in 13, 2013, I think. 2000, I yeah, around 2013. Yeah, and this was an abandoned glass blowing place. So it was perfect. Oh, <laughs> and we're right in Young Circle, which is an arts area. Right. As I said at the beginning of the show, this place is really known. Hollywood is known for artists. Absolutely. It's like the melting pot for artists, is what I tell people. Yes, absolutely. But she also has something, I think, on a cruise ship. Celebrity cruises. She yes. has her glassware on celebrity cruises, right? right? Glass blowing classes on celebrity cruises, yes. This place is so cool, everyone. And I see she has some customers here. So I'm gonna go outside and talk a little bit more about the place and show you where they blow glass. Bye. Good seeing Thank you again. again. Nice to see Thank you. you. Take care, bye-bye. I'll be back. Hey, everyone, come with me. She instructs, she teaches people how to blow glass. I saw her blowing her own glass. So this is where Outside, it's hot out here. Let me tell you, everyone, this is where the action is, and it is hot because they have these oven things here. See that glow out of that door? Can you? Oh, there it is. See that? That oven gets super hot. They heat the glass up and then they blow it. But this place is great because you can come here with a group of people. Great for birthdays. Blow yourself something for your birthday. You know, it's just great to get blown. What can I say? But it is a great place to come. You can bring, you know, a group, family. And if you want to build, you know, you have even kids, it builds their confidence because they can actually make something from scratch. I love this place. I'm gonna blow me something. Hey everyone, do me a favor. I'm gonna take a quick break. Please listen to my sponsors. You're listening to Trippin' with Silver Laddie. you like premium fetish and leather products? Then you need to go to Leatherworks. That's where I go shopping. They make so many things in-house and they only use the best quality leather. Leatherworks is inclusive of all sexuality, gender, and body types. So even me, Daddy Bear, can get the perfect fit. You can join the Lifestyle Club program it offers discounts on in-store products and classes. Yes, they have specialty classes. And they also have community parties. If you need to buy that special gift or want that unique holiday gift, go to leatherworks.com. That's leatherworks is spelled W-E-R-K-S dot com. And you can buy online. Hey everyone, welcome back to Trippin' with Silver Daddy. And if you see Silver Daddy sweating a little, it's because I'm hot. I just left the glass blowing place. And as I told you, those ovens are super hot. And when you're this hot, there's nothing better than a nice, good, cold one. And I'm at, oh, there's the sign, Twisted Roots. And I'm with Tom. Hi, Tom. Hey, how are you? I'm great. I absolutely, this is not my first time here. Okay. I absolutely love the vibe and love the inside of the place. It's just so like African almost feel or Australian out there. It's just got such a cool vibe to your place. 
thank you. Thank you. We pride ourselves on being different, that's for sure. Uh, You're different. We that's are for sure. We, we are a Kava and Kratom bar. Uh, a what? A Kava and Kratom bar. And what's Explain that. that. Uh, I will. Uh, Kava and Kratom come from the Polynesian Islands. It grows naturally there, and both those products have um, homeopathic qualities that can help with a variety of ailments. So naturally, now everybody's looking for an alternative to alcohol, but also helps your body and so forth. So that's what Kava and Kratom is. Kava comes from the root of a plant. Kratom comes from a different plant, but it comes from the, the leaf of a plant. The root like teas, so they taste really good. We are uh, we have live music here all the time. There's never a cover charge. We brew the product right here on uh, site. Uh, wait, wait, okay, so we'll slow down here. All right. Because my mind doesn't work as fast as yours does. I can tell you that much right now. You brew it here on site. Mm -hmm. It's a root and it's a leaf, but it's more like a tea. It's not a. Does, is there alcohol in it? No, there's zero so alcohol. So it's non alcoholic. Non alcoholic. Too, which is good for me. Really good for me. Let me tell you. You don't want a drunk silver to add. <laughs> because I can be a real bitch. But yeah, that's even better. So it's, it's a type of tea more. Correct, it's a, it's a tea. Now, uh, both kava and kratom do have um, some relaxing effects to you. Right, right. But it's not like you're gonna drink and go get a DUI, so it's a lot right. different than that. So, um, like kava has a very relaxing uh, feel to it. Kratom comes with three different uh, solutions. You have white, which is uplifting, green, which is more relaxing and then red which is definitely more relaxing so it depends red definitely more there you go. god i could use some red stuff many days let me tell you you know what this kind of reminds me of and i know it's not but i'm just gonna have to throw it out there i lived in the caribbean and when i lived on island our island, each island had our own. We used to make something called bush tea. Okay. I don't know if you've ever heard of bush yes, tea. Yes, I have. But it's basically the locals know which leaves to get. Yeah. They gather a bunch of different leaves from the rainforest area. I yep. used to be in St. Croix. Right. They'd get a bunch of those leaves and they would brew their own tea. Correct. Now, this tea also had this like properties that made you feel relaxed. Yes. And depending on who brewed that damn tea, you could be really relaxed, let me tell you. Because there was some stuff that I knew was growing wild up in those hills. And I knew exactly what that stuff was. Because it had a little bit of an odor that came down off the hill to my house. But you can be really relaxed. But we used to have stuff that we would call bush tea. Yeah. And it was like, you said like yeah. different roots and herbs that the locals use it yeah. almost like a medical, Correct. medicinal the, type feel. The natives in Polynesian islands have been using this for thousands of years ever since because it grows naturally there. Right. Now the natives know what the plants are in their own uh, backyard. They obviously figured out very early on what the, the homeopathic qualities can do for somebody. So like I'll give you an example. I am uh, plagued with back issues. Okay. So when I drink um, some Kratom Red with a nice uh, mix of hibiscus and stuff and so forth, it tastes like a fruit punch. It's got a nice relaxing feel to it and it makes my back not hurt as much. Right. So, so that's what it does uh, for me. Right. Now, Kava has a different uh, effect that's definitely more relaxing. Uh, because it comes from the root of the plant, it's a little more grittier. Um, but we have all sorts of um, vegan mixes here, so we can make something taste really good for you, depending on what type of flavors you like. Something that I have discovered in my travels and going around, that all the different islands have their unique unique yes. things about it. Uh, it's not until someone, what I call from, like the Westerners come in and discover it with them, that they start to, ex not exploit, but they start to develop it and bring sure. it back. For instance, did uh, you know this? 
and there's an island, Dominica. Not, Dominica is different than the Dominican. Dominica is an island between two French islands in the Caribbean, between Guadeloupe and Martinique. Okay. And Dominique has a plant on the island right. that only the women knew where it was and would go harvest it and make tea because it would make their man more um what we more more um, what eager more eager more eager in the evening and in the bed the funny thing is this same plant then was discovered by someone who was in pharmaceutical and that's how we got viagra but and, it was, and only the women were the only ones allowed to know where to go get it because they didn't want the men to get it all day long and use it all day long so the women were the select ones who determined when we could have this tea on the island that's really cool let's talk a little bit about your position here you're all the right. events coordinator i'm the events manager here events manager and tell us a little bit right. about that if someone is in the area or they want to do an event what what Absolutely. can you do for them well we have events here all week long like this wednesday we have uh, a jazz jam here uh, starting at 9 o'clock. Uh, on Thursday, we have karaoke. Once again, that starts at 9 o'clock. Uh, on Saturday, we have an artist this week called Grant Ray, who's really good. That also starts at 9. We also, every other week, uh, or every other uh, Wednesday, we also have comedy. We also have a, uh, a jam with a band called Tasty Vibrations. They're great, you'll love them. So if you play music, or if you're any type of creative person, you're gonna love Twisted Blues because just about everybody who works here is either a musician or an artist. So, it makes it very comfortable for you to come in and you're gonna love the vibe here, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm so telling you, time. this place is incredible. And what I'm gonna do is I just wanna take the camera inside. It's there, a little yeah. dark, but you need to see the inside. Perfect. It is, it's just so cool. It's like, I just can't believe I'm here in Hollywood, Florida. And when I walk in this place, I feel like I'm in some little club in, I don't know, some small little village somewhere in a, like in Caribbean or over in the South Pacific, or if I was in, like somewhere in the bush country of Africa or Australia. It is the coolest thing. Thank you. Thank Hats you. off to the people who did the decoration he, and did the inside. Absolutely. The owner and his friend, the creative director here, Brent, and the owner, Darren, they both have a film school background, so naturally that uh, helps. And uh, they're very familiar with the creative side. So I guarantee you, if you come here, you're gonna love the vibe and you're gonna love the drinks too. So, and the sociability of coming to this bar, you're gonna love the people as well. The drinks are really good. Hey everyone, let me just take you in before we go to break. I just wanna show you the inside and then we're gonna have to go to break. By the way, Pop, thank you. Thank you so thank you. much. Look it was great to seeing, talking to you. Look forward to seeing you all here at Twist the Bruce Cobb Brewery. So, wait until you see the inside. <sighs> Gotta get my camera. I love the sign, but look at this. I mean, this is like going to a different, uh, a different vibe. Now look, how cool this place is. It's a little dark. Oh my God, and I'm well lit. Look, you can see me perfectly. With the ceiling, Wait, wait till you see the spiders. They're not real, but they are so cool. Gotta show you the spiders, everyone. Do you see the spider web? The nest, the eggs. See the spiders crawling on it? Let me tell you, this is one of the coolest places. If you're in South Florida, you need to come to Hollywood and go to Twisted Roots. Hey, everyone, I have to go to break. You're listening to Trippin' with Silver Daddy. Did you know if you live within 20 miles of the ocean, there is saltpeter in the air? 
Saltpeter is very bad for your car. It can cause rust and dull your paint. So you need to get your car washed at least once a week if you live within 20 miles of the ocean. That's why I go to Majestic Car Wash. My Blue Beauty, I only trust Majestic Car Wash. They're located at 2781 North Federal Highway. You know, you have your choice. Your car can go through the 40 foot long cleaning tunnel or it can be hand washed. They also have a detail shop that can make your car look brand spanking new. So where do I take my Blue Beauty? To Majestic Car Wash. You need to go there today. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, what a great time I had here in Hollywood, Florida. And that's all thanks to Ricky and Shane. Ricky and Shane sent me on this wild goose chase of going north or south and how many exits and how many miles from the ocean. And I am 1.8 miles from the beach. And I am in Young Circle Park, named after Young, who bought all this land many years ago. And it's a big park that really celebrates the arts, to be honest with you. They have a lot of festivals in this park. From everything, this is where St. Patrick's Day Parade ends. It's just a huge park and there's a big stage. I'll show you that in a second. And we have hot glasses located here. It's a great place and Hollywood is so cool. This is actually one of the cities I would definitely considering where I'd want to move to if I was coming to Florida. One thing that I just found out and I didn't realize, Hollywood, Florida has more Art Deco buildings than any other place in the United States. And it's kind of funny because if you live here, everyone knows about Miami and thinks about Miami as being the Art Deco place. But no, it's actually here in Hollywood, Florida. They, that's why they really, and they also call this kind of like the melting pot of artists. A lot of art people, a lot of people who enjoy the arts, everything. We're not just talking about, you know, painting and that and the, the glass line, but we're talking about musicians. There's a lot of bars and restaurants that have art and different types of entertainment here. And speaking of entertainment here, you probably didn't know this. This is also home to the one and only Hard Rock Seminole Hotel. Famous because this hotel, I don't know how many stories. 50, 60 stories, but it shakes like a guitar and it looks like a guitar. And they bring in national acts all the time. So that is also home here in Hollywood, Florida. There's so many things you can do here. It's just such a cool place, you know? And getting to see Judith again, she is one cool lady. I love spending time with her. I need to come down here more often just to visit with her because every time I talk to Judith, she makes me feel like it's home, you know? She's really cool. And then Tom up at Twisted Roots, oh my God, the drink they gave me. All their drinks are non-alcoholic, but they have this soothing effect. Twisted Roots is, I just love the place. I can sit in there all night. It's just so relaxing and entertaining. And then you get to spend time here in the park. Here, let me go ahead and camera around and walk around because the fountain's probably blocking. And then I just want to show you around. Like 10 years ago when I moved here, a lot of these tall buildings around here weren't here. So now they're building all this residential place right around the park. And you can even see there's a new one going up right now, over here. And then that is the stage they put on live performances here. Theater groups actually put on plays. And then there's my hot glass. 
on classes right over there. There's so much to do here in Hollywood. I am just so happy that Ricky and Shane picked a great location. I couldn't have got luckier. Hey everyone, I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. And remember as always, love, peace, and respect. You're listening to Trippin' with Silver Daddy. Bye!